we need to talk about Francine Rivers. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today we're going to be talking about Francine Rivers. She is one of the best Christian authors I've ever came across, hence why I have so many of her books now. So I thought I would talk you through some of my favourite books by her. Now I must say, the cover art is not the best and it is the reason that I did not pick up any of these books for so long. I used to see them on the shelf in my regular Christian bookshop but I always thought that they didn't look very interesting until one of my subscribers, Gail, actually met me in the Christian bookshop. She told me that I needed to read a book called Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers which I'll pop up here because I've actually loaned that out at the moment so I don't have it in my collection to show you but once I read Redeeming Love I was absolutely hooked on Francine Rivers. The way that she writes just really draws you in. Her character development is just exquisite and you really feel attached to the characters and everything that's going on in their lives. So after I'd read Redeeming Love, I was like, I need to read more of this lady. And I've just slowly been building up my collection because the books are quite expensive. This one was $14.99, but you get a really big, thick book for that. Like this is a typical book size and most of her books are larger than that so you're definitely getting your money's worth and the stories are just so so good i cannot stress this enough so redeeming love is based loosely off the story of hosea in the bible who was told by god to marry a prostitute so we see this girl and everything that happens to her in her early childhood and how her upbringing leads her into prostitution eventually and how she meets this male character who is based on hosea and i know i've talked about this book before so i'm not going to go into too much detail about it but it does come with some trigger warnings as a lot of Francine Rivers books do because she does deal with a lot of real life problems and situations that can happen to people but she never covers them in a way that's unnecessary it's all part of understanding the characters and how they get to that point in their lives so reading them can be quite challenging and sad to read but at the same time it really helps you understand that character and attach yourself to what it is that they're going through so i highly highly recommend that book that is definitely one of my top three francine rivers books so far then the next books that i want to talk about are actually a trilogy it's a three-part series called the mark of the lion so it starts off with this one here which is called a voice in the wind and it follows this girl here who is called her dasa now before i read this i thought it was based on the book of esther which a few of you quickly corrected me with in the comments so thank you for that and this is set around the time in the first century after Jesus has died and it basically follows Hadassah through the trials that she has to face for being a Christian. So her family are Christian, her father has taught her the way and she is following the Christian lifestyle and there is a lot of persecution at this time for the Christians so it takes you through her life but the way that this character is written is just exquisite and I won't comment on how I felt when I finished this book because I don't want to spoil anything for you but oh my goodness is all I will say. This book's also set around the time of the gladiators so we get to experience all of that and how people used to pay to go to the amphitheatre to watch people be killed by lions and fight with gladiators and be fed to dogs and people would pay for this kind of entertainment. It's just mind blown that this was actually the way that people used to live. I still can't believe that that was the form of entertainment like we would now go to a football game. They would pay to go watch the gladiators like fight each other and and die and oh it just sounds horrendous but anyway so this really goes into that and it is quite a graphic book which when you're reading it sometimes you're like oh my goodness like I can't believe that but you just can't put it down because the writing is so good. So that's the first book of this series. And then it is followed by this one, which is An Echo in the Darkness. So this follows a guy called Marcus, who is part of this story. You really get attached again to the characters. You want to know more about them. You feel like you know them really well. All of the characters are written in such a way that you understand why they act the way they act in certain circumstances. So there's like a thread that goes through these books and follows the characters. So this one focuses from Marcus's point of view. Again, I don't want to give too much away because I really want to recommend these books to you that you go and read them for yourself and experience them for yourself. And then this is the third book in the series and it's about one of the gladiators. And again, I'm not going to divulge too much information, but it's beautifully written. I will say though that I did enjoy these two more than the third book, but please read all of them to get 
get the full story because they are just such good books. And they also are an easy read as well. Like the font is nice and big. And although they are quite thick books, you will fly through them. They don't sort of take ages to read. Okay, then I have these two books, which are called A Lineage of Grace and Sons of Encouragement. And I think it's such a cool idea of what these books do. So Francine Rivers takes the stories of these people from the Bible and A Lineage of Grace follows five women from the Bible. It's five short stories. And those women are Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, Bathsheba and Mary and my favourite was Rahab. So Rahab is the prostitute who lives within the walls of Jericho and she sees Israel's God and thinks wow that God is a huge big God I want to follow him and the short story in here of the story of Rahab really just makes you understand her character so well and actually from reading these short stories I started a woman's group in my church because I just thought wow these women of the bible like this book really brought them to life for me it really made me kind of rather than just a quick little chapter in the bible it really brought these women to life as real life women who were really living and working in these days again another five star read loved it and then sons of encouragement does the same thing it's five short stories and it's based on Aaron. Caleb, Jonathan, Amos and Silas and it really brings those male characters to life, it gets you into their kind of how their mind frame might have been at the time and how things they were going through was affecting them and their family members also. Just another fantastic read. And then finally I have The Scarlet Thread which I have not read yet, I'm so excited to read this one. It's a lot smaller than all of the other books that I have by Francine Rivers and the text is just as big so I don't think this one will take long to read at all. I would have liked to have read this one before I did this video but I just haven't had time and I've been promising you this video for a while but it says that this one is about two women who are centuries apart and they are joined through a tattered journal as they contend with God, husbands, even themselves until they fall into the arms of the one who loves them unconditionally which will obviously be Jesus. So I'm really excited to read this one. In fact, I might actually start it right now, <laughs> as soon as I finish this video. And I will update you on my Instagram, which I will tag here. If you want to head over there, I will let you know what I think of this, but I'm sure I will love it. I have not read a Francine Rivers yet that I have not absolutely just fallen in love with. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you are looking for a really good Christian author, you know where to go now for your fictional needs. She's just amazing. And do not let the cover art put you off these books because the content inside is just incredible and well worth your time, well worth a read. I would recommend that you start with Redeeming Love or the Mark of the Lion trilogy. If you've read these books before, are you going to go away and read them? Please let me know in the comments what you think of these books once you are finished. Anyway, I'm going to go off now and I'm going to start The Scarlet Thread. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Watch me under the light So keep me in your sight Cause I can do this all night